Hey guys, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours, and this is your Monday Minutes. Okay, today, anaphylactic reaction versus anaphylactoid reaction. Well, my breath stinks, right? So you need an anaphylactoid. Okay, that's a bad, that's a bad joke. But listen, there are a little bit of a difference between the two. And I think I just want to go over them so that you know the reason why one is called anaphylactic and one is called anaphylactoid. Now, an anaphylactic reaction, this is that exaggerated response you get from a foreign substance, a drug, a bee sting, um, latex gloves, things like that, right? Now, for anaphylactic reaction, you have to have that previous exposure. You have to be sensitized to that okay um you know the the mediation on the triggering of what goes on is done through the antibodies right the immunoglobin um antibody antibodies okay so it's a little bit different than an anaphylactoid reaction okay because again the anaphylactic one we're talking about here it's not related to a sudden um, exposure. This is something that someone's been exposed to before. I'm sure you've heard of the person who's been stung by a bee before, but now you're getting called because they got stung by a bee again and they're having a reaction, right? Some people get stung by bees many, many times, and then maybe the fourth or fifth time they have a anaphylactic reaction, okay? So this will be talked about here by the triggering of those uh, antibodies, right? And again, the triggering doesn't have to be related to a quantity necessarily of it, okay? It just, the anaphylactic part is that you've got to have that previous exposure, all right? You have to have that, that, that sensitivity to that antibody, right? That the immunoglobin antibody. Now, anaphylactoids, a little bit different, right? Now, with them, you've got them triggered by a direct stimulation of mast cells and causing a histamine sort of release, okay? So, what happens with anaphylactoid is something where it's right away. You don't need a prior exposure to anything. It could be a drug that someone took for the first time. Um, you know, you don't have to have that sensitivity build up, okay? You don't need those immunoglobin uh, E antibodies, okay, involved to have an anaphylactoid reaction, okay? A lot of common things you might see with an anaphylactoid reaction, things like um, contrast media, uh, maybe um, NSAIDs is another one you might you might get a uh, anaphylactoid uh, response okay and again these things cause that breakdown of the mast cell and the basophil membranes and you get that histamine release okay now the one thing I just want to say is that just to summarize real quick is that anaphylactic is when the patient's got to be exposed already anaphylactoid can happen following just that one time first exposure to a certain um, agent okay that they're not sensitized to okay now here's the thing they both present the same way right they get the same clinical manifestations that you're going to see in the patient right and we're going to treat them in the field as EMS we're going to treat them the same way as well okay so just that you know that the difference between anaphylactic reaction and anaphylactoid is that one is something someone's been exposed to before and anaphylactoid, you don't need to be exposed to it. It's, it's a first time response, but they both are referred to as anaphylaxis. Okay, that so you can return, refer to both conditions. So don't get confused and, and kind of hung up on one or the other. This is good to know stuff. So when you're presenting this to a doc or you're tr documenting it, that you know if it's something that someone's been exposed to before or, or if it's the first time. But the presentation by the patient is going to be the same and the way we treat them 
is going to be the same as well. All right, guys, I hope you can use these Monday Minutes. Just a little tidbit there, uh, little slight differences when you talk about anaphylaxis. Um, so I hope you can use those little tidbits there maybe in your upcoming documentation the next time you get an anaphylactic or allergic reaction type of call. Guys, go check out the premium membership over at turmedic.com. Be sure to sign up there, and you can even get in at a free level and test out the waters there. And, um, you know, see everything that's involved there at TurboMedic. Audio, video, download, you name it, it's over there, TurboMedic.com. And be sure to send me any comments, questions, or um, advice on the Monday Minutes over to emailsoffice.com, guys. Until next week, as always, Jim Hoffman, stay safe.